Hey, welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the newest release from Bee Sneeze Laughter, inspired by American Horror Story, Red Tide. Before we get into the polishes, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my weekly videos. So this gorgeous nine piece collection is gonna be available starting on October 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And of course we have a beautiful variety of finishes this collection. We get three fun flaky polishes, five beautiful shifting shimmers, and an incredible hollow glitter. The maker Sarah is also bringing back some respawns this month. There will be several mysteries as well as some brand new fall scents. All right, we have nine gorgeous polishes to look at today. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. We're starting off with our flaky polishes first, beginning with To Finding My Destiny. This one is described as being a plummy taupe with glowy purple flakes, and it's gonna retail for $12.50. So this polish definitely agree with that description. It's got a deep, taupey, purple base. I feel like it's coming off a little bit more blue here on the bottle shot than it actually does in real life. I also feel like those flakes are coming off a little more blue too. But when I show it on application and on my full hand swatch, you'll be able to see it true to color. The flakes, I love they're in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Um, they're very irregular and we've got some that are like gigantic and some that are teeny tiny and it creates a really cool effect on the nail. On application, this one was very, very sheer. It definitely does have a jelly base. Um, it was very smooth and even to apply. On that first coat, I did get a few flakes, but they built up much better on the second and third coats, as you can see here. So on the second coat, we get a better development of color. Look at all those different sized flakies. So, so cool. They are a like glowy purple color, but then you can also see at some angles, they look almost they, like they shift to silver and blue. It's really pretty. So this one built up in three coats, never does reach full opacity. I think it'd be a great candidate to pair with a blurring base coat. Here's what it looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat, super, super glowy and pretty. Pictured are three coats of To Finding My Destiny with a glossy top coat. Continuing with our flaky polishes, up next we have The Price of Being the Greatest. This one's described as being a blackened indigo with deep cobalt flakes, and it's going to retail for $12.50. So this one I do prefer over the last polish I just showed you. They're the two kind of similar flaky polishes in this release, and I have to say if you're only grabbing one, grab this one. It is so packed with those gorgeous flakies and they just absolutely glow in that base. I mean, wow. Like look at all the different sizes. They build up absolutely beautifully and they just stand out so well against that deep dark base. On application, this one was very smooth. It also has a super jelly base. Get a few flakes on that first coat, but man, do they build up on the second and third. The development of the base color really starts to pop on the second coat too, you see that? And then once you add the third coat, the flakes are, um, I mean, look at that. Look at that, the flakes just glow on the third coat. It's beautiful. So yes, I absolutely reached opacity in three coats, and I think most people would reach opacity in three. So here's what it looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat and some sunlight. There's just so much depth in this polish. It is absolutely gorgeous. I have a lot of favorites in this release. This is one of them. And if you weren't sold on it in sunlight, here's what it looks like in some lower natural lighting. Just, yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> Pictured are three coats of the price of being the greatest with a glossy top coat. Up next is another standout from this collection. Y'all, I'm warning you now. There are quite a few. <laughs> You're Not Human is described as being a burgundy tinted pastel multi-chrome that shifts green to pink with black to red multi-chrome flakes. This one's going to retail for $13. 
my goodness, this one's so gorgeous too. Sarah Bee's Knees Lacquer just keeps coming out with these gorgeous pastel multi-chromes with the red to black multi-chrome flakes. And I swear, they get better and better every release. This one is just so beautiful. The combination of the deep burgundy and then the shifts to green. And wow, it is a vibrant green to pink are just spectacular. And then add the red to black multi-chrome flakies on top of it. I mean, I'm sold. <laughs> On application, this one was very smooth and easy to work with. I was super pleased with how much shimmer and flakies I got on that first coat. On the second coat, I started to be able to see more of that burgundy base. Again, the glowy shimmer just keeps on glowing. And then in three coats, I got either very, very close to full opacity or full opacity. This is one of the ones where even at three coats, as you move your nail around, you can detect some nail line. Like I see it if I'm looking for it but I'm a little bit distracted by all of the shimmer in this polish, honestly. <laughs> so here's three coats um, in the shade now, and you see that shift from green to pink? Splendid. I don't think I've ever used that word before, but that's the only word that describes this polish. <laughs> Pictured are three coats of You're Not Human with a glossy top coat. Moving into our shimmery finishes now because we do have quite a few of those. Yay! This one's called So Much and it's described as being a deep olive green with black to red multi-chrome shimmer. It's going to retail for $13. What a cool polish. Bees Knees Lacquer needs to win an award for most creative use of the black to red multi-chrome pigment in 2021 because they have the flakes, they have shimmer, they've done so many things with it, and I am just like so impressed every single time. Um, this one's no different. In the bright lighting, you get a lot of the olive base and then the red shift in the shimmer. But once I show you what this looks like in lower lighting, you'll really see it in my photographs. You can see the shift to black as well, and it's just so interesting. Now, I will say this polish and one other that I'll show you later was a little bit thick when I received it. That's not characteristic of Bees Knees Lacquer polishes. I don't think I've ever had to add, no, I've never had to add thinner to any of my Bees Knees Lacquer polishes before. So I'm not sure what happened with this one. Maybe the lid wasn't all the way on there or something. Um, but once I added a couple drops of thinner, which you're looking at that, application now. I was so pleased, so pleased with the application. Full opacity or very close to it in three coats and super shifty, very smooth and easy to work with. Here's what it looks like built up in three coats with glossy top coat in the sunlight. Do you see that shift from black to red and the olive green on the sides? This is a cool polish. It's just cool. <laughs> Pictured our three coats of so much with a glossy top coat. Next is the namesake of this collection. This one's called Red Tide, and it's described as being a deep turquoise with rich pink to green shimmer, and it's going to retail for $12. Um, so I was surprised to see the description state that this one was a deep turquoise. I almost feel like the base is like a deep jade green. It definitely has a lot of green in it. Um, and as you can see, true to its description, the shimmer in it just glows. It's a bright, rich, beautiful pink. And I am loving the contrast between the base and the shimmer with this one. So this was the second one in the collection that came to me a little bit thick. Um, for my full hand swatch photos and videos, um, I hadn't added thinner yet, and so I didn't love this polish then, but once I added the thinner, which is what you're looking at now, wow. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had my feelings change so much on a polish. It is so beautiful and was so smooth and easy to work with. I was able to get full opacity in two coats, and it just glowed off the nails, and the base color is so, so pretty. So here's what it looks like built up in two coats. It did reach full opacity for me in two coats um, in my studio lighting with some glossy top coats. And you can see it shift from that pink color. And then it's got shifts to like gold, which wasn't in the description. Um, and I feel like I see copper in there as well and green. It is glorious. <laughs> Here are two coats of Red Tide with a glossy top coat. 
Continuing on with our beautiful shimmers, this one's called My Muse, and it's described as being a rich, dark brown with glowy aqua to purple shimmer. This one's going to retail for $12. So again, I'm just loving the contrast. Um, if you didn't know, Bees Knees Lacquer is planning to close up their shop. Um, they haven't officially announced a you know, last collection or date yet, but they did say they think it's going to be January. And these kinds of polishes are why I'm going to miss them so much. Um, they're just, they do things that I don't see other brands trying, like doing a brown base with a blue shimmer on paper. It sounds like something I wouldn't like, but this polish is something I like <laughs> on application. This one was so smooth and easy to work with. It definitely has a more jelly type base, but it is packed, packed with that shimmer. In three coats, I reached very close to or maybe complete opacity. This might be another one that's a great candidate to pair with a blurring base coat because at some angles, even in three coats, I could see a little bit of my nail line. So here's what it looks like built up in three coats with a glossy top coat and some sunlight. And in the bright lighting, you get a whole lot of that gorgeous aqua to purple shimmer. It's brilliant. And there on the sides, you can see some of the brown base. Pictured are three coats of my muse with a glossy top coat. And these last three I have to share with you are my very top picks from the collection. If you can only grab three, I would really recommend these. This one's called Thirst, and it's described as being a jewel toned violet with deep copper to gold shimmer. It's going to retail for $12. Be still my heart. This polish is gorgeous. So pretty for fall. For winter, the base is just bright and brilliantly beautiful. You purple lovers are in luck with this one. And the shimmer is just absolutely glowy. Like I almost thought it was like a multi-chrome shimmer because the shimmer in it is so reflective. You can see how my light's bouncing off of it in the bottle. On application, wow. Round of applause. <laughs> you did good, Bees Knees Lacquer. You did good. Um, it was so smooth and easy to work with. Very opaque, highly pigmented. I didn't get any staining with this one, but would not be surprised if you did. So really recommend wearing it with a base coat. But I did get full opacity at my nail length in two coats. If you've got longer nails, you might want three. So here's what it looks like out in the sunlight. Do you see the shimmer just sparkling? Like how gorgeous is this polish? <sighs> Beautiful. Pictured are two coats of Thirst with a glossy top coat. The last shimmer I have to share with you today and another topic from this collection is Tell Me About Your Dreams. It's described as being a mid-toned purple with bright blue shimmer and it's going to retail for $12. So this is the only one that doesn't have like a shifty shimmer and the fact that it is one of my favorites in the collection I think says it all. Y'all know I love a shifty shimmer but this one is amazing. Amazing. The base is like a bright magenta. It looks bright in the bottle. Wait till you see it on the nails. So bright. And the blue just provides so much incredible contrast. Oh, man, this polish is everything, everything. If you've got tastes that's similar to mine, I think you're going to really like this one. On application, it performed very similarly to a lot of the others in that it was jelly based, but quite pigmented. I didn't get staining with this one either, um, but would recommend wearing a base coat. Uh, this one, I got a beautiful amount of pigmentation on the second coat, but I could still detect just a little bit of nail line. So I went in for three and was happy with the opacity. But this one too, as I move my hand around, I can see a little bit of nail line. So you might want to pair it with a blurring base coat. Personally, it did not bother me because here was the finished look. <gasps> Gasp. <laughs> um, in three coats, that blue shimmer just knocked my socks off. Yeah. Pictured are three coats of Tell Me About Your Dreams with a glossy top coat. And 
The biggest standout of the collection, in my opinion anyway, is Cape Fear. It's described as being a pastel blue to purple multi-chrome with dark gold holographic micro glitter. It's going to retail for $12. I don't know that glitter polish has ever been my favorite in a collection. <laughs> um, if you have seen my channel before, you know glitters aren't my favorite, but my goodness, this one is a crown jewel. <laughs> it is just fantastic. Um, and I've been really loving these kind of like multi-chrome um, polishes with the added flakes or with the added glitters because it just looks like the purple multi-chrome and that's what I see most is the purple um, shift in that multi-chrome. It just sits behind those gold glitters and glows. It's really, really an interesting effect. Um, this one was very smooth and easy to apply. Didn't have any patchiness. The glitters all came out no problem and spread evenly on the nail. I was able to reach full opacity in just two coats. If you've got longer nails, maybe you'd need three, but I think two would be great for most people. So here's what it looks like out in the sunlight. Look how holographic those glitters are, people. I had this like it was reflecting everywhere, not just in the sunlight, in my kitchen, in my bathroom, in my living room, all, all lighting situations. This hollow is magnificent. Um, and here's what it looks like in lower outdoor lighting. Just beautifully brilliant. Love this one too. Pictured are two coats of Cape Fear with a glossy top coat. So that's the newest collection from Bee's Knees Lacquer. I'm curious to hear all of your thoughts. So let me know in the comments. Do you think you're going to be grabbing any of these? And if so, which ones? <laughs> and while you're here, you should totally check out some of my recent videos. Last week, I went live on my channel. And if you ever want to join me, my lives are always at 6 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday evenings. Um, but I went live on my channel to share Night Owl Lacquer's newest release. I also live watched and reviewed the newest collection from Cuticula called the Shattered Fantasy Collection. Oh my goodness, it was so gorgeous. And I live watched and reviewed some new polishes that are available on the Caloris de Carol site. I'll link all of those videos in the description box so you can check them out in case you're interested. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.